session was the 2D video gate analysis organized session. It was actually organized by the Gate Society. Our talk really built upon uh, gaining interest of why video is applicable to our practices. Um, we are such a visual profession. So it was really kind of gaining momentum of, you know, why, why should we be using video to the what could you use with video, what softwares are available for you to use video analysis in prosthetics and orthotics. And then it went on to how to set up a video gate lab in your clinic and even further taking it to video vector analysis by Elaine Owens, which is you know a higher end system, but all of the data that you can get from that. The first thing that you can start with with video capture is just using your phone. So you can use your phone to slow things down, go over and have a conversation with the patient, and also just start collecting videos as a diary. When you really start to see the value, you can start to download some apps. So there's some um, piano data and Dartfish and uh, a coach's eye. And I found a couple more that were called vi Video Physics and, uh, and EduFee. And those allow you to maybe uh, do a couple specialty things with their video analysis software. I talked about video vector gate analysis where you have the addition of the ground reaction force factor superimposed on the video. Well, firstly, the slow motion video is very important in doing frame by frame and taking good video capture. But the, really, the, kin the kinetics don't always match the kinematics and therefore it would be really helpful if everybody had kinetics. You can be pretty confident if you use video, that's for sure. If you know your kinematics, you know how to put movement, you know how to analyse abnormal movement and make abnormal movement more normal. Um, so you can be pretty confident then. If you want to be super confident about your prescriptions, you've got everything right, then you need kinetics. I'm hoping that the participants at least got away, got from the session that video is very practical to use. We all have a, a phone in our pockets and those cameras are actually pretty easy and good to use. We don't need high-end systems, we don't need high-end software, we can actually do a lot with what we have in our pocket. And that can actually aid in the documentation, aid in the conversation that we have with the patient, and also open up doors for collaborating with physicians and physical therapists. And there's so much information with just the visuals of, of video.